Hello and welcome. If it is your first time here, hello again. If you are returning, welcome back. Last episode, Johnny took a trip with his crew and unfortunately Tommy passed away, but he was with his friends in the end, which is good. I learned that Daniel used to be a part of Cobra Kai, which was very surprising. And Chris continues to dig his claws into the kids and continues to be all around trash. Go to the dealership already? Uh, no, I'm at the dojo. I wanna get an early jump on today's lesson plan. I feel like Daniel has been putting everything into the dojo and kind of ignoring his business and his wife. <laughs> and that's going to come to a head. They're going to have some issues. We have that lunch with a noosh. Daniel, he isn't happy. I'll, I'll be there. Don't worry. I don't think he's going to make it. <laughs> I think he's not going to be there. And she is going to be pissed. Why are you here? Why are you here? I hate this man so much. I'm just here to say thank you. Taking our weakest soldiers from our ranks. Is this a mental game that he's playing? Like, what's your problem, man? You may think you got the best of Johnny Lawrence, but I promise you, this time I won't let him lose. Is he trying to star something between Daniel and Johnny again? Is that why he's here? This isn't war. War never ends. Peace is just the love between battles. I still don't get this, Matt. Like, why are you the way you are? What is wrong with you? You better hope that your students are ready. Ours will be. Dick, disrespectful. Kreese is doing this on purpose. It's a star mess between them. But I don't know why. Like, what's the problem? Hey, Sensei, I'm sorry about your loss. Thanks. What the hell happened here? Well, I spent some time organizing the place. And making yourself right at home, huh? Yup. I knew he was trying to take over. He's trying to take over the dojo again by starting the mess between Daniel and Johnny. What have I gotten them into? Daniel, I need you to calm down. I think Chris was just trying to freak you out so that you can do something dumb. Today you are going to experience Shochu Geiko. Like the car insurance? <laughs> Bebop is funny and I'm liking him more and more. I want him and Dimitri to have a group name. Size where you train during the hottest days of the year. The fight isn't always going to come when it's 75 degrees and breezy. I feel like you're losing your way, sir. You're doing exactly what Chris wants you to do. Aren't we supposed to avoid fighting? Sometimes you can't. This is going to be a disaster. You've been split into two teams. The goal is to capture as many headbands as possible from the other side. This is bad. Is something terrible about to happen? Because we are six episodes deep. Shenanigans is about to start. Today, the people across from you are not your friends. How do we get the headbands? No, use your judgment. This is just a training exercise. I do not trust Crease. Shenanigans is about to start. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> but why? Why do that to yourself, sir? <laughs> why? But I just decided to flip the script. No. You can refer to me. As stingray. Oh God, this is so terrible <laughs> and hideous. I hate it. Got you. Just uh, threw up in my mouth a little bit. Gross. Three. Oh. <gasps> oh, sorry, me. Oh, poor Dimitri. I don't want you to get hurt. He is not ready. <laughs> Daniel, what happened to you taking the time with him? You know how Dimitri is. Is it a trap? Whoa, that was unnecessary. You took the headband already. Look at what they're becoming, Johnny. Look at them and remember what he did to you and get rid of him. You couldn't take the heat of Shoshu Geiko. Perhaps you'll find Khan Geiko more to your liking. It's about adapting to the environment around you and using that to your advantage. Daniel, you're gonna lose good people. You have to learn how to be balanced. Is that Daniel? Yeah, he's not coming. If you're not gonna make it and you already said that you would come, don't text people, call them. Have the courtesy to call them and let them know. Makes five kills. 
Guess I earned my Medal of Honor. He's wearing the Medal of Honor around? How trash can you be? Six. Oh, oh God. Come on, Dimitri. Oh, you come on. Just give me a second. Daniel is being paranoid about Cobra Kai and he's like losing focus when it comes to literally everything else. I have not seen this man go to work for like four episodes. You are the most neurotic person that I know, but you could use that to your advantage. Think of it like a spidey sense. Actually, in the comics, they call it spider sense. Dimitri, I need you to focus. I wonder if Dimitri is kind of on the spectrum or is he just neurotic? Let's try it again. Remember, anticipate. That is so good. Oh, Dimitri, congratulations. You did very well. Five. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Baby <sighs> steps. Yes, baby steps. You did one. We can continue trying. That was hilarious, though. So you're the one that trashed me. I could do it. They're the enemy. I had to put them in their place. What are you talking about? They're just random children training at another place. What do you care? Just because you still have a thing for Sam doesn't mean I have to go soft. You want the medal so bad? Come and take it. I want Miguel to beat him. I feel bad for Eli because it's not his fault. He's in this situation and it's not his fault. He turned out this way, but I hope he gets beat. It's so disrespectful to wear somebody's Medal of Honor around with you. And Cree should know better. He was in the army. How can you be so trash and condone that? Oh, jeez. Miguel needs to be careful. I do not want anyone to get hurt here. <gasps> oh no, did he break something? Is he okay? Okay. <laughs> what? Johnny, please stop. <gasps> what the heck? Johnny, you have to stop this. You see the insanity in front of you. There's a problem here. <laughs> you know the thing about sting Sir, take, take the headband, then talk. Thank you. Good job. Good job. It's not how I taught you to fight. It's what Sensei Kreese taught us. This isn't a tournament. This is real life. Is that how you want to live your life? Okay, that's not all that you say, Johnny. I need you to be more upfront and tell him how Kreese destroyed your life and tell him what it is. I like what you've done with the place. Why are you here, Samantha? This can only go badly. I thought we were. This is terrible. This is a bad idea. The worst idea. You're gonna get kicked out when Daniel finds out. He left. He quit. What? Tom Cole offered him a higher title. He's gonna give us a chance to match it, but then you bailed on him. You're not focusing on the business. You're putting everything into the dojo and you're not being balanced and it's ruining your business and your family. I have spent the entire summer feeling alone while you're off at karate camp. I get what she's saying. You two started this business together and you two ran it together. It's kind of rude to just bail on her. And your son too, what happened to him? <laughs> okay, I've just been focused on giving these kids a chance to defend themselves. You have to keep your balance. You can't put all of your attention in one place and lose your business. Oh no, this is bad. Came to give something back. We're not all assholes. Just tell Sam I said sorry. This went better than I thought. Maybe we could be friends. This is very good. Who was that? Nobody had the wrong house. Weird. <laughs> That's wrong, Robbie. You should tell her that he came and he did the right thing. Sam is going to be mad when she finds out. We need to talk. About what? Yes, you're fired. Just been teaching him the way of the fist. Same lessons I taught you. Those lessons didn't help anyone. It actually ruined their lives. Shut up. Yeah, that's where we have a problem. Cobra Kai needs to change. What you taught didn't work back then and it doesn't work now. Thank you. I'm so surprised that he hasn't learned this lesson himself. When you're in a war, the other side never fights with any honor. What war? What war are you in? These are good kids and they don't need to relive our mistakes. Thank you. The things that you have taught and that you have lived your life by hasn't worked for you or any of your children so why did you think it's gonna work now for the new kids? This is my dojo, and I make the rules. You forget who started Cobra Kai? 
okay? I'm sorry. I thought this could work, but I was wrong. Thank you. Kick him out. No, we're done. <laughs> I am so happy right now. Him leaving can only be the best thing that can happen. I don't ever want to see you in this dojo again. I don't know what he's going to do, but I'm glad he's leaving. I don't feel bad for you, Chris. I have zero amounts of empathy for you. Okay, so that was episode seven, lol. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I like this episode purely on the fact that Priest got booted. I like that he's gone. It brings me a lot of joy, so much joy. <laughs> But I am also worried about what he's going to do. I don't know what he's going to do now that he's in the wild by himself. Obviously, it will be something terrible. And I feel like he's going to try to poach Hawk. I don't know if he's going to start his own dojo. But I feel like he's going to try to take Hawk from Johnny and use him in some kind of way. I just hope no one gets hurt in the process. Hawk feels a way about Miguel in this moment, especially after their fight. So I hope he doesn't do anything stupid. Samantha and Robbie being together is a terrible idea. I do not support this at all. He's going to get kicked out of the house as soon as the family finds out what's happening. And Robbie's mother is still gone. That means he will have to live with Johnny, which I don't know how that's going to go. Would he want to live with him? And the fact that Daniel didn't tell Johnny that Robbie was staying with them will come out. And I don't know how one Robbie is going to take it and how how Daniel's wife is gonna take it because I don't know if he ever told his wife that he didn't tell Johnny the situation at all that he just left and they're already on a shaky ground so that coming out can make things much worse when it comes to Daniel and Amanda, I am surprised that this didn't come out before or this didn't come to head before because he's been really focused on the Aggie dough and <laughs> really hasn't been doing anything with the business or her or the child that is missing and i don't completely fall daniel it's kind of easy to focus on something so much that you kind of let go of other things happening in your life especially if you care about it and especially if it brings you joy and i think miyagi do brings him a lot of joy and now he has crease in his head and that makes him more paranoid and more neurotic i'm not saying it's healthy but it is understandable daniel needs to take some time and focus on his business his wife <laughs> and his missing child because i have not seen that kid at all like where's your kid daniel where is your child <laughs> And I don't think he knows what's going on with um, Samantha either. He's focused on her when it comes to training, but not anything else. I am looking forward to what's going to happen in the next three episodes because this season has been a little meh. <laughs> it's been meh. It hasn't been a bad season. It just doesn't have the same built up as season one. Season one, like in episode seven, there was a lot happening. Things were coming out and it was very exciting versus this season. It's just been okay. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have been enjoying the season so far, what you think about it. And if you enjoyed this video, then like and subscribe for more. I hope you have a good one and you'll see me later. Bye!